you guys happy saturday i decided to come out and give myself a little pedicure or whatever so i'm walking to the nail salon right now and yeah i left big bay and little bay in the house to leave and i was up just staring at them i said <laughs> let me use this time wisely let me go get my feet done so yeah as they're taking their little nap i'm out feeling myself about to go get my feet done so let's go I don't know what color to get. I actually get white or French, but I'm trying to switch it up this time. I broke a nail. Let's just say I am overdue, completely overdue for a pedicure. But the point is, is that I'm here and I'm going to go. I'm going to show you how to so on. It's not busy. this pretty purple color so I'm gonna show y'all what it's done color I got I'm excited and then she has a little massage thing on what is my best life I need to go like that So self-care trip to the nail salon, successful. I'm happy, my feet are done. My feet feel like butter, so that's a win. But I'm on my way home now, back to my babies. Hopefully they miss me, they probably still sleep. Cause one thing about O, big O, is he gonna sleep, okay? The man don't play about his slumber. I be getting tight because why do you have that much sleep in you, sir? Why? Why? Why are you so tired? But, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go back home and I'm going to go eat something. Chill with my little booze or whatever. But seeing that this is a little vlog, a mini vlog, my first vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a good time filming my little self-care um, trip to the nail salon. It was cute. Uh, I actually got my eyebrows done as well. Listen, 
the thing about my eyebrows is that they're scarce. So when I don't get them done, it looks like I don't have anything because they blend in with the chocolate of my of my complexion, you know? But when I do get them done, they look like you can't see, whatever. They look a little better than when I don't do them at all. So this is why, oh, trying to see if there's anybody behind me. Listen, I live in the hood. I don't, I don't, uh, all right, I live in the hood, right? See, <laughs> let me try to break this down. So technically I live in Crown Heights, right? But if I walk one block down and cross the street, I'm in Brownsville. So I'm technically in the hood, but I'm not in the hood, but I'm in the hood. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense? Like, I'm not in the hood hood, but I'm in the hood. So I got to make sure that my surroundings is clear at all times. Because ain't nobody finna roll up on me. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody finna roll up on me. Because I don't, I don't got the motherfucking time or the energy. And I'm not as quick as I used to be. There's, a, there's this guy walking across the street. I just sat on him. Um, I'm not as quick as I used to be, and I don't have stand up stamina to be running. Like, for my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if I do have to run, I will. But I don't want to have to run for my life. So I got to make sure that my surroundings is clear at all times. But yeah, today was a great day. I had a really good day today. Um, what else can I talk about? See, now I'm walking home. Um, I don't know. I actually really don't know. Oh, I got something to talk about. Y'all want to talk about um, friendship breakups or friendship hurt? Let me tell you about friendship hurt. Ooh, my hat's kind of tight. Friendship hurt, it's quite possible that it hurts more than uh, man hurt. Like your man leaving you or your, or your, um, your man, your person, whatever. I think it's kind of worse than that. And the reason why it's worse than that is because you tell your friends everything, right? Like you can find your friends or whatever. And when shit goes left, you be like, wow, how do we get here, bro? And the reason why I say that is because I done had a, a few friendships that went left, baby. Let me tell you. I ain't gonna get into details, but they went left. And I was over here like, wow, I'm fucking heartbroken because my friends did some shit that I did not expect them to do, right? But we don't talk about friendship hurt like that. We just talk about, you know, uh, relationship hurt. Like a girl leaving a man and a man leaving a, a girl, whatever. We talk about that all the time, but nobody really talks about your friend breaking your heart, bro. That shit is, is wild. But the other day I watched this video and if you do not, um, damn, what was the name of it? It's called, it's called The Same Room. It's a, like, Christian-based, uh, YouTube channel. And they have really, like, great conversations with, like, different celebrities and stuff like that. So, I don't know if y'all know, I forgot his last name. His name is LaShawn, but he used to be, um, excuse me, he used to be a music writer, songwriter. And he passed away in a car accident. And his wife was talking about like her journey and her experience with that. And she was like talking about how um, you get to see who who's really for you in the midst of like chaos. Well, you know, tragedy, I guess you could say. Um, whether it's like a loss of family member or like death. Um, just different things different life changes show you different people right and the one thing that she said that stuck out to me was people don't hurt you from a place of love right i can find my keys anyway what i was saying was that um people don't hurt you from a place of love so when you think about being hurt by somebody that you love it's like ow that pain that they cause you or that hurt that they cause you didn't necessarily come from where they loved you, right? It came from a place of their hurt or their shortcomings or whatever it is that they're dealing with at the time. So that was a really good perspective and a gem that I took away from that um, interview is that not all hurt 
comes from love. And if someone loves you, they won't hurt you. I don't know how true that is, actually, how I say that out loud. But it, it's, it's, it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? It makes sense. People don't intentionally, intentionally hurt you from a place of love. It comes from somewhere else. So if you've ever been hurt or dealing with friendship hurt or whatever. Yeah, I live on the fourth floor. No elevator. You do the math. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Um, but yeah, if somebody hurts you, or if you don't like friendship hurt, my job to you is let go. Let go and let God, okay? Because God does not remove people, things, places from out of your life, unless it's for a reason. You might not understand the reason. It might not make sense right now. But God done seen and heard some things you ain't never hear. So be thankful that he did that for you. I am out of breath. I'm about to walk in my house. And this is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching my vlog, my first vlog. And I thank y'all for rocking with me as always. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and stop playing. Yeah, stop playing. Hit the notification bell too while you're at it. Also, um, you should leave a comment and you should like the video. If I did not say that already, I probably did. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.